Beetlejuice and Goonies get new 4K releases, Arrow announces their new November lineup, and Flash Gordon tops the Blu-ray and 4K charts? All this and more in the next Physical Media Report. Stay tuned. What is up guys and welcome back to another fantastic and awesome edition of the Physical Media Report. I am your host, your broadcaster here today, the Mid-Level Critic Ken, and I'm here to bring you all the new 4K Blu-ray, all the physical media news for the week. I'm also here to tell you what's coming out this week as well as far as new Blu-rays, new 4Ks. I'm also going to give you the top five 4Ks, the top five Blu-rays for the week. We're going to cover some deals and I'm going to get into just what I picked up last week. But yeah, it's, it's an awesome week this week, guys. And like I said last week, things are going to start picking up and they are in a big way this week. But we're going to get to that a little bit later. First off, I want to go ahead and ask you guys, please, if you haven't yet, if you haven't yet become a subscriber of the Mid-Level Media channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me right now to see more of this type of content, more coverage on new Blu-rays and 4Ks, um, unboxing videos, reviews. Um, I did a top 10 list last week, or a ranking of the X-Men franchise, rather. Um, or new Blu-ray out and abouts. All kinds of stuff that mostly deals with physical media-based um, uh, topics but yeah we, we have a good time on this channel covering all this stuff talking about this stuff reacting to this stuff with you guys so I would appreciate it if you go ahead and subscribe to my channel also like this video for me every single like will help move this video up the YouTube algorithm get more eyes on it and help this channel grow also guys there's a ton of stuff coming out this week if you plan on picking anything up if you're interested in anything coming down the pike go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you'll be grabbing and we can start up a conversation and talk about blu-rays which is what i love doing but let's get into things guys because we got a lot of stuff to cover here today and the first thing that we're going to talk about is arrow video and they have released their new november line um, which consists of six titles that we're going to talk about here today. The first of one being The King of New York, which is a film starring Christopher Walken. Now, this is a 4K transfer, so they are continuing their streak of 4K titles, which started, I believe, with Pitch Black and Flash Gordon. Those are the first ones um, that they put out, and they're going to continue that trend in November, it looks like, with The King of New York. Um, I haven't heard of this film, but it is starring Christopher Walken, so I imagine it's somewhat of a well-known film. Um, in the film community, I just I've just never heard of it until now. But we also have Crash, which is a film by David Cronenberg that is getting a 4K release as well, released on November the 30th. So King of New York was released on November the 16th. Sorry, I didn't cover that. Uh, but Crash will be released on uh, November the 30th. Next up, guys, we have Lake Michigan Monster, which comes out on November the 2nd. Another film I have not heard of. Now this is not a 4K transfer. Now the only two that are 4K transfers in this collection um, of releases coming out in November is The King of New York and Crash. Those are the only two of these six that we're going to discuss. All the rest of the ones are gonna be regular Blu-rays. But next one we got is Burst City, which releases on November the 9th. Haven't heard of this as well. And this is gonna be a common theme as I run through the rest of these. <laughs> you got Silent Running, which comes out on November the 17th. And he came from The Swamp, which comes out on November the 23rd. So. Bunch of obscure titles. I mean, Arrow continues their tradition of putting out these obscure titles from their catalog from back in the day. And, you know, they do an excellent job on their transfers. They do an excellent job kind of catering to these niche fan bases. And, yeah, I'm glad to see that they're continuing their, to do to up their game and do 4K transfers and stuff like that. Um, I haven't got a chance to check out the Pitch Black or the Flash Gordon ones, but I might be picking up Pitch Black sometime soon. I'm not entirely sure, but... Um, as for Flash Gordon, I don't have any plans to pick that one up anytime soon. Um, next up, guys, we got the announcement of the newly to VOD released Peninsula, which is the sequel to Train to Busan. And it's actually called Train to Busan Presents uh, Peninsula. That is being released on 4K on November the 24th. I imagine it's also getting a Blu-ray, but the only thing I could find online um, was the 4K. That is being released by Wellgo on November the 24th. So if you're a fan of that series, fan of that franchise you'll be able to pick that up as well. El Camino, guys, this is a pretty interesting one. El Camino, which was a Netflix exclusive Breaking Bad uh, sequel of sorts, is coming out on October the 13th, being distributed by Sony. And so far, all I've been able to find is that you can purchase this online. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be available on Best Buy. It's not a Best Buy exclusive steelbook or anything like that. Uh, it might be able to be purchased in Best Buy, I, I imagine, maybe, but... 
Um, I don't see this really showing up in Target or Walmart or anything like that, but this is a, an exclusive steel book. Um, and that's all El Camino is coming out with is this a steel book. As of right now, there's no 4K, there's no regular Blu-ray, nothing like that. It's just the steel book being released by Sony. So that's kind of interesting. I mean, a Netflix exclusive. And I know Netflix doesn't completely own the rights to it. It's, um, you know, Sony has the rights to it with Breaking Bad and all that stuff. And they probably just license out to Netflix, let them borrow it. Uh, to make El Camino and now they're kind of coming back to release this steel book But it's also just interesting because that's the only thing that they're announcing right now I imagine that maybe if we get closer there might be announcement of just a regular blu-ray um, I hope so. I like the steel book cover, but like I said, I'm just not that into collecting steel books that much anymore um, So I like to have the variation and stuff like that and if they use that kind of original poster artwork um, to do a blu-ray I would definitely pick it up for sure and I might if this is the only thing that comes out I might pick it up anyway because I'm a huge Breaking Bad fan. I really liked El Camino. I thought it was a really good um, Solid it's definitely not as great as Breaking Bad, but a solid sequel to that story um, And a solid close for for Jesse the character, but yeah enjoyed that film So I might just be picking that up on October the 13th next up guys. We got Tremors Shrieker Island, which is releasing on October the 20th. I think the seventh film in the Tremors franchise. So I'm not as well versed in the Tremors franchise. I've seen the first two, but I have not seen the um, the wide array of sequels that came out afterwards. I think the last one was like in Ar in, set in Antarctica and it had Jamie Kennedy in it. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure what I saw, it has, it still has, it's still bringing back the same guy, the same actor. Cannot forget, remember his name right now. The same actor that was in um, the last six, pretty much. He's been in it since the beginning. Um, Kevin Bacon, of course, is not reprising his role. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Shrieker Island's coming out on October the 20th. So if you any Tremors fans out there, you have a new Tremors film to dig your, dig your teeth into come October. But next up, guys, we have Valley Girl, the movie starring Jessica Roth. That's a musical coming out on October the 6th from Warner Brothers. Um, I have not seen this movie. I heard very mixed, mediocre reviews about it. I do like musicals. I do like Jessica Roth, um, who, of course, was the star of the Happy Death Day films, Happy Death Day 1 and 2. Um, so I think I'll, I'll probably check this out at some point. I don't think I'll buy the Blu-ray though, but, um, that does it for all the news guys. I know Eureka, they, they announced their new line, um, for September as well, which included like a Mothra film. Um, but I, I don't have all the information for that in front of me, so I'm not really going to dive deep into that today. Um, but we're going to get into the top five Blu-rays and the top five 4Ks this week because there's some interesting stuff in there and there, there was some movement. Um, in the top five Blu-ray category, we have Deathstroke. That is now the top Blu-ray um, that came out, I believe, was it last week or was it the week before? It was, it might have been a couple of weeks ago now. Um, Deathstroke's the number one Blu-ray, that makes sense. That was like the only re new in-store release for that day. DC's really popular, hot right now, right off of DC Fandom. So that makes sense that that's number one. Of course, it knocked off Trolls World Tour, which was number one last week and has been number one, number two battling back and forth with Scoob for the past few weeks. But Trolls number, uh, World Tour is number two. We also have The Outpost, which is a new, um, I think, uh, I believe that was the film that, uh, if anybody watched my Blu-ray Out and About video, which if you hadn't, I, I can link it right here. Um, last week, there was a guy in the store when I went into Walmart, I, I was going up to the Blu-ray shelves to start the film, and he came up to me and he was like, you gotta check this film out, it's awesome. <laughs> and it, I think it's just one of those like straight to VOD, like, um, um, Iraq, uh, Afghanistan type war films. Um, so I'm not really like too interested in those type of movies. So I didn't, I, I was like, all right, man, yeah, I might check it out, but I don't think I'm going to check it out. Um, but that's number three guys. So I definitely, uh, struck a chord with some people and those movies definitely have their audience. Um, not for me, but you know, for, for war vets, for people that have family in the service for people that are just war enthusiasts and stuff like that want to learn more about that kind of stuff. Um, it, there's definitely an audience for it and, and they definitely love it. Um, and number four, guys, dropping all the way down from two is Scoob. So Scoob is starting to fall, guys, and it, it leaves me to wonder if Scoob is going to make it uh, past this week because I, I know there's a lot of 4K releases this week, but there's a couple of Blu-rays as well. So Scoob might not make it into to next week's top five. It might be the last week for Scoob. Um, the number five, guys, and this one's interesting, but Flash Gordon, the Blu-ray edition um, of that Arrow video set is at number five. So... Uh, we're going to move on to the top five 4Ks because this is also interesting, picking up right where we left off in the Blu-rays, but Flash Gordon, the 4K Arrow version, is number one, leading the 4K charts this week. So a lot of love for Flash Gordon, a lot of 80s nostalgia in that. Um, 
So yeah, I didn't know Flash Gordon was that popular, but I guess it, it enticed people to pick it up. And um, I'm starting to see a trend here with like Blu-ray versus 4K. Blu-ray seems much more um, much more common, much more like this is the new thing that came out and this is what people are picking up, this is what families are picking up. Whereas 4K seems to be a little bit more confined to like the hardcore collectors, I think. Um, so I think that that's why Flash Gordon came out on top this week, but... Uh, who knows? Because the next one is just completely out of left field. Number two is Aquaman in 4K. And maybe not as far out of left field as I might think. Because, again, we just came off a of DC fandom. This is a very popular DC movie. This has made over a billion dollars worldwide. Um, so, yeah, it might just be people that's like, you know, I want to go back and I want to check out Aquaman. I really like the panel between Patrick Wilson and um, uh, James Wan at the DC fandom. So, I'm going to go back and check out Aquaman on 4K. I didn't get a chance to pick it up. But... I will say Aquaman in 4K might be the best DCU movie to watch because it's so visually stunning. Like, say what you want about the movie. You don't like it. You do like it. I personally liked it. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, but it is a visual marvel. Like, it just it looks fantastic. And in 4K, just enhances everything. Uh, those, those octopuses playing the drums, they look so phenomenal <laughs> in 4K. But let's move on to the next one because in number three, we have 1917. Uh, the 4K version of that, so nice to see that that's still still up on the charts. And Star Wars Episode Nine, guys, in 4K is number four, so we just can't get Star Wars out of these top fives. I, I wish we could. Uh, the movie sucks, but it, it is what it is. People like Star Wars, no matter what. Um, Jaws, the 4K is still at number five, so this is impressive because Jaws, I'm pretty sure on the very first episode of the Physical Media Report, I, I made the announcement of Jaws coming out in 4K. That was the first topic I covered. Um, so that was all the way back in June, and now all these months later, Jaws um, still has plenty of steam. People are still buying Jaws in 4K, and they should. They absolutely should. It's a freaking classic of a movie. But that does it for the top five Blu-rays in 4K, guys. Let's move on to the deals this week. Not a ton of deals this week, but there is some good stuff that I want to talk about. And of course, guys, I'm going to give you my spiel here at the Mid-Level Media Channel. You know, we know that times are tough. We know that you're trying to save a buck on, on your Blu-rays and you want to enhance your collection. So I'm here to kind of just point out these deals, point you in the right direction so you can save a couple bucks and, and you know, you can grow your Blu-ray collection on a, on, a, on a budget, you know? So we got the we got the Phantom Thread coming out this week um, for $5. So it's on the list right now for $5 and that's a Paul Thomas Anderson film. I actually bought this a few months ago. It was a deal for like 13 bucks and I haven't even watched it all yet. I watched like the first 30 minutes of it and it was kind of a snooze fest, so I turned it off, but it's not like I, I just wasn't in the mood for it. I, I'm sure I could get in the mood and watch it. A lot of people say it's a great film. Um, but yeah, it's only five bucks right now, guys. Paul Thomas Anderson film, excellent director. If you haven't seen Phantom Thread, you just want to pick it up for five bucks, definitely recommend that. Um, Spartacus in 4K, which is a film that came out a couple of weeks ago, I think. Um, it's only $17.99, so it dropped $2, so that's a good deal for that. We also have the Mummy Trilogy on Blu-ray, the Brendan Fraser Mummy Trilogy, for only 8 bucks. Like, I know I talked about the 4K set, um, I think it was like 15 bucks a few weeks ago, but if you just want to see the movies and you haven't seen them or something, $8 for all three of those movies, like... The first two are great. I haven't seen the third one because I heard it was trash and not good, so I didn't watch it. And it came out like years later, so it was kind of way too late for that movie to come out. Um, but the first two are classic. I love the first two. The great movies. Um, we also have a Nightmare on Elm Street for five bucks. So if uh, you know if you don't have the Nightmare on Elm Street in your collection, you're a horror fan. You know what are you doing? Grab the Nightmare on Elm Street for five bucks. It's a, it's a great film, a classic horror film. Um, the Resident Evil 4K set, which hasn't come out yet, is 25% off right now. Um, so this is the perfect time to order it if you haven't ordered it yet. It is $72 right now. Um, and for six movies, you know, 72 bucks and 4K, like that's not bad at all. That's an excellent deal. Um, moving on, guys, we got Banana Splits for $8. That kind of Five Nights at Freddy's ripoff looking uh, straight to VOD Walmart shelves horror movie that came out. But... $8 is better than $10.15, which is what it's been at at Walmart. So, yeah, if you're into those Banana Splits movies, pick it up. I don't know. Terminator Dark Fate, guys. The newest Terminator film on Blu-ray is on sale right now for $10. So, that's not a bad deal either. Um, so, yeah, it, like I said, not a ton of deals this week, but there's some stuff to get into. Like I said, you got the Phantom Thread. I'm pretty sure A, a Star is Born as well is on sale for like $8. So, 
There's some older movies you can go back to and grab, like A Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, if you don't have that, grab that. And Peanut Butter Falcon, I think, right now is still 11 bucks on Blu-ray, so definitely grab that. Um, and yeah, some stuff to get into, guys. But definitely not as many deals as there's been in week past. But all right, guys, let's get into it. Let's get into the main event topic. We're going to talk about the new releases this week. So we, we've got some good stuff, guys, and I'm so excited to finally be back um talking about some really good solid exciting new releases that are coming out instead of just talking about like whatever screen factory i happen to get or criterion you know and I, and I love all that stuff but i just like having these new releases in stores you know and i'll go out tomorrow and i'm gonna check them out as well so uh prepare for me doing the blu-ray hunting video but yeah guys the big one tomorrow is we got beetlejuice guys it's showtime the man michael keaton um, the icon, and I just, I love this movie, guys. I, this is one of, this might be in like my top 10, top 15, maybe, uh, films of all time. So I'm super excited for this. Beetlejuice is on 4K for $25. That's the base price for the base 4K. You're also getting a Best Buy exclusive steelbook for $30. And if you want to spend the extra cash and you're a collector, you have the, the book of the recently deceased, the handbook for the recently deceased. Um, box set, gift box set, that's being released on Amazon for 50 bucks. And as far as I can tell, it's, I don't know if it's an Amazon exclusive, but I think Amazon is the only place you can buy it right now. There might be other locations as well. I don't think you're going to be able to get this in stores, but same with the next one that we're getting ready to talk about, because we're getting ready to talk about Goonies, which is also coming out in 4K, which is a film that I don't like as much. <laughs> Um, I watched Goonies for the first time like a few years ago, and I just I didn't really dig it. So I'm not going to be picking this one up, even though the cover's amazing on it. The cover art looks fantastic. Um, and you're getting that for $25 as well, the base 4K. You're also getting a steelbook, a Best Buy exclusive steelbook for $30. And you are getting also a special edition Amazon uh, Collector's uh, Treasure Chest Edition, the gift set, for $50 as well. So both of these new sets that are coming out, the Beetlejuice 4K, the Goonies 4K, both being released by Warner Brothers. Um, or you're getting a steel book, you're getting the regular 4k, you're also getting the, um, special gift sets as well. So these, this is exciting guys. We've got two brand new releases. You're going to be able to go out in stores. You're going to be able to see them live and in person. And it's exciting. So we also got some other stuff guys, because we got both Sherlock Holmes films. The one, the Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes films are being released by Warner brothers on 4k. So if you're a big fan of those Sherlock Holmes films, um, you're definitely be wanting to pick those up tomorrow as well. And I imagine Best Buy will have them, Walmart. Um, I'm not sure if Target, Target doesn't always have like all the new 4K stuff um, all the time. So not sure if they're going to have them. But another one that's coming out, guys, is Pitch Black in 4K. And this is one that's kind of weird because I saw people posting about it a couple of weeks ago. Like they picked it up. And I think like certain editions came out a couple of weeks ago because it was originally supposed to come out in August. And I think there were some production issues with it. Um, but it's coming out tomorrow definitively in 4K, that, that 4K cover, the traditional one um, that I showed off a long time ago on this show when it was first announced. But uh, yeah, starring Vin Diesel, The Chronicles of Riddick, all that stuff. It, it From what I remember, I really enjoyed Pitch Black, not so much the later sequels of Riddick. Um, so I might be grabbing this one at some point because it's only $20 right now if you want to grab it. Um, Next up, guys, we have Death on the Nile, so being released by Kino Lorber, the Blu-ray. So we just got the trailer for the new Death on the Nile, directed by Kenneth Branagh, you know, starring Gal Gadot. This is the old one, I think, from the 70s, maybe earlier than that. I'm not sure. I didn't get the dates, but um, yeah, the Death on the Nile being released by Kino Lorber. So if you're a fan of those Agatha Christie, uh, you know, novels and adaptations, um, and you're looking forward to the new movie, and you maybe want to see this story um to know what you're getting into this might be a good one to check out we also have clockwise which is a john cleese film being released by kino lorber as well um, we also have terrified which is a shutter original being released by rlje entertainment and another um, rlje entertainment shutter original is blood quantum being released on blu-ray as well um, both of which may end up in walmart a lot of times walmart when these come out they don't always get the blu-ray versions but they we'll get the DVD versions of these Shutter Original um, RLJE ones. So you might be able to find the DVD versions of these in Walmart. Otherwise, maybe uh, Best Buy might be your best bet to get the Blu-ray versions of these. We also have Children of the Sea, which is an anime being released by Shelf Factory. We have Irresistible, which is the John Stewart-directed film starring Rose Byrne and Steve Carell, which is the comedy that came out right in the middle of summer. Rogue is coming out tomorrow, as well as Young Sheldon, which is the Big Bang spinoff series, is coming out with 
with its third season on Blu-ray tomorrow as well. So those are all the big releases, guys. Let's go ahead and get into what I picked up this week. I grabbed four titles this week. Um, the first one you would have seen on my, actually two of these you would have seen on my Blu-ray hunting video last week. So if you haven't checked that out, you can go back. But I went ahead and grabbed this Nutty Professor double pack from uh, from Best Buy, which is a Shout Factory uh, title. So this has both the Nutty Professor movies, the first one, and the sequel. So I mainly bought it for the first one because I love the first one. And, you know, it's I guess it's nice to have the second one. I'll, I'll go back and watch it and see if it holds up any better. But I don't remember it being that good, to be honest. Um... I also went ahead and bought Sleeping Beauty um, on Blu-ray, and this is a big uh, Target Edition digipack. Um, and why I bought this was it was only fourteen fifty, and it's like I've I've got uh, like like five or six of the Disney um, digipacks, so I, I figured I would add this to my Disney collection for only fourteen fifty. That was a pretty good deal, you know, on clearance. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. Another two movies that I grabbed is I'm on a bit of a Tim Burton kick right now because me and my uh, partner Alex, and I'll go ahead and plug this show, uh, which do our Levels of Geek live show every Monday and Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Levels of Geek channel, which I have all those links down below if you want to check that out. We're going live again tonight, um, and the big topic tonight, guys, of course, is going to be the passing of Chadwick Boseman um, from last week, the star of Black Panther and 42 and all these other amazing films and, and characters that he's been a part of of course it's very sad news and thoughts and, and prayers go out to his family and stuff but we're going to be talking about that tonight um but last week we talked about our top 10 tim burton films so in discussing those you know we talked about ed wood um which was one of them which is a movie i haven't seen in a long time and i really want to go back and watch i, I just grabbed it on a whim on, on amazon it was only ten dollars and this other one guys classic from my childhood mars attacks I'm trying to get that into focus but I love Mars Attacks. This is like one of my all-time favorite movies. I probably watched this like 50, 60 times when I was a kid. Um, and I watched this again the other night with my family and loved it just as much. So glad to have had these uh, two Tim Burton movies in my collection back, you know, when Tim Burton was still making actually good movies. Um, but yeah, that's what I picked up this week, guys. And I'm not doing the Q&A portion of this show this week. And to be honest, I might not be doing it um, on this show going forward. Um, I'm trying to look to, to maybe trim down this show a bit, um, get it a little bit more focused on the physical media. And also because I've got some big stuff planned going forward for this channel, which might involve some kind of weekly Q and A's. Um, so any questions that you have for me, they don't, they're not going to be have to uh, that be asked on this show anymore. Um, I'll be able to go live every week. You can come on that live stream. You can ask me questions. So that's going to be really fun, guys. I, I can't wait to kind of figure out more details of that and let you guys know um, what's going on with that moving forward. But another thing I want to know, guys, is I, I recently, over the weekend, I hit 500 um, subscribers, which is amazing. It's well beyond anything I ever thought I would hit with this channel. Um, you know, I started off the year with, I think, 40. Um, and I've been, I thought maybe I would hit 500 by the end of the year if I was lucky and to get there right now is amazing. So I definitely appreciate everybody who supports this channel, who supports me. Um, as I still try to figure out like what I'm doing with this channel, I, I struggle with that every day to like come up with new ideas for content and to do things that aren't like everybody else. Um, the one thing I have is this show and I feel like this show is pretty original for me. Um, just the way I have it structured and laid out. So I definitely appreciate you guys tuning into the show every week. Uh, being a subscriber of my channel as I continue to grow, I definitely have a lot of ideas cooking and things I want to start implementing into this channel. Um, so continue to stick with me, continue to grow with me, and I definitely appreciate it, guys. Um, it, like I said, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and like this video, please. Um, comment down below if you plan on picking anything up this week. I'd love to hear about it. And we'll see you next time.